The views and comments expressed on the following radio program by its hosts and their guests do not necessarily reflect the views of rmconair.com or its affiliates. Listener discretion is advised. You, you don't know how we flow on the Michael Collier Show. Watch real close, tell your folks that it's Michael Collier. Your television up a little bit It's about to get ridiculous He slips through and slick suits With the skits that hit true How sick is this dude? I see you You don't have no idea How we do this here Woo! It's the Michael Kaya Morning Show I get up late Hey family, hey everybody And that's what we are here This we call ourselves uh, Michael Kaya and the family We got the family here Just say hi to the family Hey, how you doing? Everything Happy beautiful. Monday. Everything Happy is Monday. lovely. And yeah. you know, uh, we have also um, made uh, the lady on the ones and the twos is also a family member. She don't even know it. She's like, you know, from another mother. But she's a family member as well. We have incorporated her into the show with us. And uh, I don't know if you knew that or not. But yeah, you part of our family now. And this is the family. People can call here and be comfortable and, and know that they're right at home. We want to bring love and energy and positivity and entertainment to your uh, front door. This is uh, Michael Kaya and uh, Michael Kaya Morning Show. And what we do? We get up well, late, we get up late over here. Out of oh, it's better that way you know yeah, um so much to talk about today um first i want to talk about um the shoot this weekend uh, that we we're doing the doc i'm doing a uh, sitcom that i've created and it's really really a funny sitcom i think we, we think it's funny I think it's yeah, and so we should think it since it's ours you know and i do want to say i saw myself on this show last week i haven't had a chance to really watch these shows but i watched myself and i look pretty damn good i didn't realize <laughs> i look good i'm gonna, I'm gonna accept that anyway um we are shooting a sitcom and we had so much fun this weekend we finally shot two more scenes of it there's only one scene left and we shot them this sunday and it was funny because i didn't know most of my lines and i needed a little asian girl which was odd you know that i put out on the internet that i needed looking a for a little asian, asian girl, girl. <laughs> nine ten people was writing back brother you shouldn't be talking about you want a little nine-year-old asian girl you know so it was funny how many people chimed in funny stuff you know one brother he said well if it's enough money i could play an asian girl you know one one person said they know a couple of adults but they look like they could play nine or ten and <laughs> somebody said we should just go down to the corner store and ask the lady down there could i borrow your kid mm. for about an hour and mm. it was just really amazing we end up not getting an asian kid but we had well, a we couple did, of folks that did. tried yeah we, we did, did but we, we did. didn't and that was fun that was fun because we had one little girl whose mother drove all the way from orange county to bring her down uh, but the child was just too short. She didn't look like they would be in the same class, you know, because she was like about four foot one. But uh, our star, uh, Leroya Sanford, is five foot one. And so she's she looked. She's taller than five one. I'm no, she's five one. five one. No, she's five one. She's taller than me. Is she taller than you? Yeah. Everyone's taller than me. And she must be lying me. about her age, so, <laughs> lying about her height, so she can get little girl parts or something. Right. At any rate, she was way too tall for that girl, and it was so bad because the, the mom had last minute drove in from Orange County. You know, so I gave her gas money, and she was happy to get she it. She was joyful, you know, because that ain't no joke driving from Orange County. And then we had one child who came Filipino. She was a cutie, wasn't she? She was a cutie and, and a sweet, sweet girl. But couldn't understand a word she was saying. But the first little girl was just amazingly beautiful. Our first girl was beautiful. Yeah. And smart and she's an going actress. places. She, yes, she yeah. is back back to Orange she's County. She's going places. Uh, but <laughs> the other little girl was so nice and sweet. But she first of all she was Filipino and she hadn't been in the country for a year, so she had broken English and then she had a mouthful of um braces. Braces. Or right? So you couldn't understand what she was saying, and that just broke her heart. We couldn't use either one of them. Instead, we went with little Nene. Who is this little sister who plays the the militant black girl in in a name Yulani, and this child from nowhere showed up and hit them lines and ad lib. Oh, was she was beautiful. great. She was wonderful, she was wonderful. And funny, and smart. And so that was good. Anyway, the shoot was absolutely perfect. We set our intention to have a great day. I got up in the morning not worrying about, you know, the words or anything. I just set the intention that, you know, God is going to guide this ship. It's going to be all right. It's going to be perfect because it already is and yes. all of our needs are already met. So they just fall in place. So it was real cool. That was real cool. So, oh, oh, oh hold on a second. I think we got a caller coming in. Um, uh, Hello, caller. Are you there? Hello there, 
there, Mr. Collins. How you doing? I am outstanding. It's Miss Leonard, ladies oh, and gentlemen. Hey, Miss Leonard. Leonard. Hey, Miss hey, Leonard. What's cooking this weekend? Oh, I ain't started my dinner yet, but I'll have it on after <laughs> I get off here. <laughs> so you'll be cooking later. Oh, speaking of cooking, on uh, on the show I play a cook, and uh, Kelly threw down. She cooked all the food we had to prepare to make it look like we were serving a meal, and she made strawberry crepes and uh, shrimps with gri- uh, shrimp and grits. How you make strawberry drapes? <laughs> what did she say? So how do you make strawberry drapes? Um, <laughs> well, actually, they're crepes, which is like a pancake. I didn't know how to make it. I was gonna make pancakes and fold them over, you know. But how did you make them crepes, baby? Actually, that's just to show that everything is in divine order. Because okay, the happened? girl who was in charge of the props right. had crepes for breakfast, so she had that's leftover true. crepes at home. Oh, that's awesome. So which I was never like had that. I had a mile from where before. we were shooting. You had pancakes. You never had crepes before. No, I don't, I don't no. know how they any different, uh, a different texture, huh? Very different texture. A very different yeah. texture. Lighter, fluffy. You put yeah. some fruit in there, you good, you're yeah. good to go. And then you have some fruit. Some honey, some glazed walnuts. It's well, delicious. You, you know what? Father's Day is coming up, too. Um, Surely is. Uh, oh, so, so what you doing? Something special for Father's Day? Well, we having a dinner at the church. You know my church, the old new True Light Bunny, but Amy Pentecost Pentecostal Mission that Fellowship Baptist Temple, C.O.G. Who's the minister well, over there? C.T. Tremble is a pastor. C.T. Tremble. Is he senior or junior? Yeah. Well, he, I think he is senior. He's senior. Okay. Because I don't know Nan holding here. <laughs> you don't know Nan holding him? Okay. Uh-uh. So he having a men's day thing. Oh, wow. On that Sunday. Uh-huh. Nice, nice. Well, that's going to be a good Father's Sunday. And Father's Day fall on a Sunday. Ain't that something? Don't it? Father's Day fall on Sunday. Well, I'm doing something special this son, uh, Father's yeah. Day. I'm doing it with uh, Judge Maybelline E from the Judge of uh, Divorce Court. She has oh, a thing called... Oh, you didn't pay all your... Tickets or something? I didn't pay all my tickets or nothing. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I host that thing on the 16th, uh, and it's really fantastic, called the Huff Awards. But I'll talk to the show about that in a few moments. Anything else going on with you? We love you. Well, just tell uh, uh, Maylene Ephraim, give her a big hug for Miss Leonard. I give Maylene a big old hug for you. Because I love her show. And you know what? She was on our show a week ago, and you asked me to ask her something. I forgot to ask her. I felt I bad about what it. I you were asked if you send your clothes to dry cleaning and they use water. Can you sue them? Can we sue them? <laughs> yeah, because it's a dry cleaner. That's what I wanted to know. I am going to ask her that the next time I see her. Miss Leonard, yeah, you take care of yourself. That. Will you call us back next week? I sure will, Lord. Keep me here and living. I love you. Talk to you soon, Miss Leonard. Oh, Thank, you. Hey, Mr. Leonard. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. Bye-bye. See okay, you. goodbye. Bye. That was Miss Leonard, y'all. Um, you know, on a serious note, I'd like to let you know why we I'm using a candle. I'll be having a candle lit this whole show and this whole day and and, and prayer going out to uh Terry Lynn Monet and the family of Terry Lynn Monet. You know, we had her mother on the show just last week. Uh, she was missing for three months, was it? Yes. For three months she was missing, and she knew that foul play had, had happened. She knew that something happened because her daughter, 24 years old, beautiful young lady, who was a teacher and went to New Orleans to teach and and came up missing after going out for an evening. And this is a woman who would never not contact her family. You know, she would never not call her mother or, or something, no matter what happened with her. And they hadn't heard from her, and it went on and on. The police didn't really do their job. You know, they even admitted to dropping a ball on handling this. And um, she came on our show and talked about it just last week. Is is that is that raw, that new still for us that we just really found out any depth about the situation and come to find out that this week they found the young lady's body that she had indeed died in her car at the bottom of a, what is it, a ravine? Um, of, what they is found it called? her at the, like a bayou, the bayou. The bottom something. of a bayou mm-hmm. in her car, uh, her, her body. And they say they found other cars as well in that same area in the river with with uh, their bodies in there. So I don't know. No one really knows what happened, but we know we lost her. And so uh, I'd like to send prayers out to her family, send love to her family, yes. let let you know that our prayers of solace are with you. And, uh, and as you process this, know that we are praying and processing it with you. Um, my co-host is here uh, today, uh, the wonderful, uh, almost... Uh, Andrew, I keep forgetting your last name is Tyree. <laughs> Andrew Tyree. <laughs> He's my friend, so I just know him as Andrew, who's a motivational speaker and a spoken word artist and a Tony Award winner. And I've asked him to just come up with a poem uh, as close as he could get to, to deal with us having pain like this and how to deal with it. What you got for us, Andrew? 
Sometimes the hardest place to be is right where you're supposed to be. And I know I asked to be in his will, but sometimes when he leads, he blocks the light and I can't see what's in front of me. See, I'm afraid of the dark. But I know there's an oasis out there waiting on me. But to get there then, I've got to be here now. And this ain't easy. I woke up stronger today. Fell asleep last night, soaked in Epsom salt with a Chicago mass choir playing in the background, tired from producing four hours of justification for my failure, muscles sore, lip bleeding from the fight. And if you've never been there, then you wouldn't understand because ballets ain't got nothing on lifting weights for abundant life. And I realize now that even good ground has to be broken in order to plant seed. So now is the time to throw words that produce life in like I will never let another setback separate me from my prospects. Prosperity again, I'm attached to it, humbled and mystified by the way he's taking me there. But I've never, ever been one to turn down miracle filled road trips. See, I'm equipped for this. Got a brand new pen with heavenly inscriptions that I use not for making plans, just for taking notes. See, I'm so glad hope floats because yesterday I caught myself panicking and I can't swim. Thought map quest and a real good atlas could lead me to my destination, but I can't do both. So I'll drive. You be in charge of the navigation. Gotta realize that I'm not racing. I'll get there and I'm supposed to but that takes patience without it your promises will never reach manifestation that's not an area I'm great in so for now I perfect myself in waiting on you perfect myself in knowing what to do when I don't know what to do and finding the beauty in all that you do no matter how scenic the route and now yesterday looks different Took me four hours to find justification because there is no justification for answered prayer no matter how much it looks like failure, which means the fight was between selfishness and loving my neighbor, which means I bloodied my own lip and the bath was just a full body dip in holy water, always warm, always ready to be withdrawn. I tell you, things look so much better with kingdom glasses on. And all I have to do is speak what I want to see and watch it be, which sounds so easy, but sometimes the hardest place to be is right where you're supposed to be. Wow, that's beautiful. Andrew Tyree, ladies and gentlemen. And he's hireable. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he'll come to your college, university, and talk to the folks. Why don't you come to the organization oh, yeah. and put it down? You have a whole we'll group that here. works with you as well, yeah. uh, Fiveology. Yeah. And, man, I'm very proud of you for the work you do, and thank you for being here with us and enhancing our show. We're going to have to take our first break, and then uh, we'll be right black. But, hey, Terry Lynn, we out there with you, baby. Yeah, we man. love you, and may your spirit soar with light. We'll be right back. It's the Michael Kaye Morning Show. I, I get, get up, up late. Yes, you do. Yeah, and we're back. It's the Michael Kyle Morning Show. I, I get, get up, up late. late. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. And our first guest of the day is here with us, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, wait a minute. I'm on the wrong paper. Hold up. Jasmine Gant. I love you. Ladies and gentlemen, Jasmine Gant is in the house. Hey, Can you have a round of applause? Thank you. I'm Hi. not exactly sure how to describe what you do. You're a soapologist. I'll take that. Okay. All right. <laughs> what, tell me exactly what what would your title be? 
Uh, people call me an aroma alchemist. Oh, oh okay. I have um, a passion about putting together natural smells. I really enjoy, I stop to smell the flowers, mm -hmm. you know, and, and the fact that essential, oil is, essential oils exist and we can put them together and mix and match and apply them to our bodies and nice. moisturize and affect the way we feel every day is just really a wonderful thing. Moisturize. Also affects the way other people feel too. Mm -hmm. It's healing. That's true because she did give you one lotion that did things to me. <laughs> <laughs> For real though. Remember that baby? You, I was crazy oh, yeah, because I was like, where is that? You need more of that. Yeah, we have Every time you had that, that on, it was freaky deaky time. <laughs> and I didn't know which one it was. It was the cinnamon citrus vanilla. We have a Wait, new one. Cinnamon, um, citrus, cinnamon citrus vanilla? It was the orange, the one you had. It was like a limited edition. And you actually, and I'm so grateful for you doing this for me, is that you made one up especially for me oh, and richard it was the was yes the what was one it called? that richard brought it's the butter deluxe line oh the my butter goodness. deluxe line that's and the it, one that had me all buttery cinnamon here. gets you going cinnamon warms you, you oh, know, i play a new character in a cartoon <laughs> called black dynamite his name is sweet butter that's cute bitch don't make me get greasy okay <laughs> sweet butter so you got my line over here so you create this stuff yourself at, yes. the, at the house in the bathtub with like in, a big old stick in my kitchen really big pot several pots for real uh, i was joking yeah. for real yeah okay nice. so you got pots in the kitchen and how do you learn to do something like this to, to combine I, I come from a family we have food sensitivities so we can't just eat anything oh. we have to read the labels read the ingredients wow. i really have to know what's in it otherwise i get sick quick is kelly in your family She's my because sister. we can't go nowhere without her reading every damn package i it's just want to eat it i don't but what happened to the old days? We used to eat dirt. No, we well, used to drink water in the old right days, out the hose. Right out the hose. Food was clean. It was yes. a lot cleaner than it is now. It just you know oh, okay. what cornbread, N not was, kill milk, you. corn, butter, eggs, that sugar, was it. salt. Okay. You know maybe a little bit of leavening. No. That's it. Now you have all these texturizers, you know, modified food starch, stuff to make you want to come back mm -hmm. as opposed to just oh. letting it be, letting the food be good. So they want to addict you to what the food right. is and it's not good for no, you. No, it's not good for your system. And product, yeah. skin products at one time had just natural emollients. Right, just extra virgin mm. olive oil. Mm -hmm. You know, extra virgin. Right. The first mm. press, the second press. All men are looking for extra press. virgin. Right. How many press? <laughs> just one more of them is all we need. Said, she said first breast, second first, breast. No, first press. Oh, press. Oh, first oh, oh press. I was like, oh, okay. they, have, they have three different presses in the fourth press where they're trying to get all they can out of it. They put chemicals on it to break mm. it down. That's the pumice olive oil. Very low grade. Sometimes there's chemical residue. You know, you. I don't want to talk bad about the olive oil. <laughs> but, um, you know, you really have to be careful. So all of these are variants of soaps or soaps and oils I and body oils? I have lavender soap, lavender and sage. This is one of my favorites. Lavender and sage. And please open soap. and smell. You have to untwist and, okay. and take a whiff. This is, um, she this is patchouli. A lot of her things smell so good her. you just... Can the first eat. woman just, I was ever eat. in love with wore patchouli every day. Interesting, and that's a really? very masculine, yeah, earthy yeah. smell. So you're saying you hate that scent now? And yeah, I, I hate it. Okay. <laughs> Terrible. I'm a <laughs> oh, that smells good. That smells and you know, not everyone can wear what patchouli. Is, it's very true. I'm a that patchouli whore, though. It's very uh, earthy, dirty, oh, yeah, rustic. Oh, oh, this is nice. Yeah, that's, that's the Scorpio. Mm. Yeah, that's the one that's I have this in the balm. The balm. The balm. You said to me, you said, I want to smell like this. I want that to be my smell, and I've quoted that. Nice. <laughs> and what is that one called? That's a patchouli. That's a Scorpio, oh, the patchouli a red musk and grapefruit. And I patchouli red. Well, so wait, red the talk red. store because this is sexy stuff. You don't shouldn't say sexy stuff real fast. You don't blurt that out. <laughs> you say that kind of say it again. Patchouli, mm. red musk, and grapefruit. Mm, let me smell that one. I have that one in this, and I also have the spray. Mm. So I spray I mean, it in my I hair. Like that. When I'm no, that I brought these to share. Oh, so okay. please, you know, I have I'm that going one to in the leave all this stuff here. Oh, I have that oh, one what? in the spray, okay. Jasmine. I'm, That's I what I use I got dibs on that bar so it went that way. That's mm -hmm. the one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That one. I brought several of those. You brought several of those. Yeah, yeah. I need one right there. I'm gonna put that in my bag right now. No sense. This one. Okay. I smell. It smells like coffee like ethiopian coffee pepper. but now wait why would a person want to smell like coffee well it's not 
the smell of coffee. It's the granules. Exactly. The, it's, it's exfoliating the It's body. exfoliating. Okay. And coffee has wonderful antioxidant. But you won't come out the tub produce. smelling like a... You might smell Folgers. a little coffee earthy. Like no, Folgers, this is way you. <laughs> Max We're House talking House. about the place where coffee comes from. This okay. is Ethiopia. Right. Where's it come from? Oh. There you go. So we're, we're talking very good coffee. Here. You know how coffee originally, how they get coffee originally, how they first start doing coffee? Why people start making coffee, coffee yeah. beans? Yeah, right, in Ethiopia. And how they come across that? You know, it's it's a, a bean, it's a plant, you know, it grows, and uh, they have their coffee rituals. That was interesting. I don't really it's got a little know peppermint. if I want I that one on my body. People either, people either love it or they say, oh, it's a bit too earthy for me. I love but it. I tell like you, it. It, excuse me. I'm sorry, excuse me. I'm it sorry. Does it does not. You're right. It smells like peppermint and coffee. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and if you know what peppermint and coffee smell like, blind, blended. <laughs> You'll have an idea of what it, I mean. But to massage your body with this soap feels so good. It's yes, not even yes. funny. Really? Time stands still. So that's a scrubbing soap. Mm-hmm. That's a scrubbing soap. Mm-hmm. This is a calming desert soap. Right. Lavender well, and sage. I had a medicine man. Is it desert man. or dessert? That's desert. That's desert. Desert soap. Mm-hmm. Okay. I went to the desert, Anza Borrego, and there's a that's lavender. The the there's a lavender that grows. Anza Borrego. Anza Borrego. You Where just, is that? It's, it's Africa. It's like, no, 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 no. It's local. Uh, it's near Salton Sea. It's like 30 miles well, from the border. Take me with you. It's that part what border, of the border. Of water. Take me with you. You know we're okay. so close. Show up in his church shoes. If we ever get to a place like that, he'll be in his church shoes. It's like we, you go deep into San Diego and I you and it, it's almost like this abyss opens and it's like you're at the bottom of the ocean, but it's really just the you desert. So cuff. I love her. She's so <laughs> Now wait, I just like to mention that her husband is the fabulous and wonderful uh actor thespian Richard Gant who's been on our show several times and we even did a piece together uh, on the show and I'm gonna have him come back like I want to try to bring him like once a month That's nice. so we could do something theatrical and and so do you be rubbing him with all these soaps yeah he gets hooked up he I, he, he, hooked he up. has whatever soap he wants what a joy being married to you he, he's and he ha, he really does have beautiful baby, skin yeah a he's a beautiful man have beautiful Free skin thank you Yes, Thank even you. your little boy, his skin is just gorgeous. Well, he's brand new. He, yeah. he ought to be. He ought to be perfect. Now, is that called milk, milk, and milk, honey? mint, and honey? Oh, milk, mint, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and honey. This is uh, probably the favorite here. All right, let's see. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, this one for me smells like between that one that I'm putting in my briefcase already. The, the Scorpio. It's between the Scorpio and the one that smell like coffee and Mint. peppermint. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like the the blend of the two. Not that you've blended the two, mm-hmm. but the scent is in between. Like this one is like so fresh and floral. Uh-huh. And that's that patchouli mm-hmm. one. Bubbly. Life yeah, that one sort of. And the patchouli one will stick with you. Which one's the patchouli? That'll follow you that's out one, yeah. out the tub that's out the, one the one shower. That you have the, um, that you the scorpion. Away. The scorpion. Oh, the scorpion. Oh, no wonder you like oh, that woman for so long. Too. Milk, mint, and honey. Wow. Very fresh. Oh, it's hook, moisturizing. Man. You you even talk to her anymore? No. No. She, she's in L.A.? No, she's in New York. You oh, know, York. I was going to say, I know I find I love the oils as opposed to the perfume. Cause it, and it's very gentle on the planet as well. But I know when mm. I wear my patchouli oil... Like sometimes I have people following me. Yes, going, I'm sorry. What mm-hmm. is? I don't mean. I don't mean. It. <laughs> what it's is that me. smell? It's Just the, you know the oils they bring it's about that healing, and people mm-hmm. are going, "What like is that?" Mm-hmm. Oh. So I I do have a very high appreciation for. Yeah, the I oils think they they get into your system faster, you know, and then they resonate with you. Mm-hmm. Your body warms them up, so warms them up, and then whatever you are. It kind of just blends with it. On everyone, it's going to be different. Correct. You know? fly you. I'm trying to figure out how old ass man like Richard Gant <laughs> got you. You See, are so here with my head in my hand. I'm just I'm blinking all slow. And so, what, what happened? Just like you, old ass man. We have each that other. That is true. So you how did I get you, Mama? We gonna have to talk about that. You're flying some amazing. Some shit is up. I don't know what Let's it talk is. About but what I, I got to do? You. Like, you know, oh, people, you get, do I need to get older? Wonder, is it, am I, I not older? They they want to ask. Most folks know better. They know that. But, but I think that very quickly they realize that they belong together. 
Yes. Me and Richard mm. belong together, and they just accept that. They look mm. past everything, and they go, you know what? They they vibe. That's it why feels y'all good. That beautiful baby. Yes. That baby's amazing. It's beautiful. That baby's amazing. Thank you. That's a great baby. Thank what do you, you mean invigorating? So what does that make you do? Okay, so this is tea tree <laughs> and eucalyptus. Tea tree has wonderful antifungal properties, and the okay. eucalyptus just it opens up your respiratory system and feels I need you. Antifungal now properties. this <laughs> this here is tea tree eucalyptus and peppermint. This is a shocker. That's the bomb. No, we love that. Well, we put about forties in the bathtub. Yeah, about four or five, eight. You know, okay. however however many. Okay. Easy on the inhale. Watch your hair snap back. Take a good, Ooh. go ahead, take, take a real good one. <laughs> it opened up all your senses, don't it? And that's what I mean by invigorating. Oh, mm-hmm. okay, okay. So that's, that's th- this is, the, those beads are this soap on steroids. Yes. Okay, yeah, yeah, because yeah. this, mm-hmm. that kicks, that kicks. Mm-hmm. Oh, this, you can smell it in the room now that we yes. taken the lid off. Mm-hmm. People who okay. work in office situations, sometimes you can just take the lid off and not say anything and just totally change the energy. But let me tell you something. Mm-hmm. We bathe in these. You will love these. Let's hold that up there. Let me hold that up for you. These little, hold up, y'all. These them little bitty, what are they? What are they, blink, little blink green thing? Compressed salt. Compressed salt. Look at that right there. You don't want to put that in your food and I think that kind of salt. <laughs> don't grind that up and blend that in like that. But this, I mean, this thing kicks. It's anti- it's a detox, right? Yeah, it just when you soak in it, it's just going to relax you. It, that's what we do. We put like mm-hmm. four of these in there, mm-hmm. and I mean the whole tub. You just smell the aroma, and mm-hmm. you just melt away. You trying to get this into your baby? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can see <laughs> yeah. you like keeping. We love those. This is those nice. are when you come in the bathroom and you're like, "Babe, are you okay?" Yeah, because you just be out. Just you be in the tub. So in the zone, because the, the, these are great. She yeah. even says that you can just take the lid off when I. F- first got these and you said you can just take the lid off and just have them in your bathroom or any room mm-hmm. of your home mm-hmm. let's talk about the powder now you got a white powder here. that's sodium bicarbonate <laughs> otherwise known as baking, baking soda. soda that's the baking soda but you mm-hmm. call it body polish yes you, can, you did something to it did you put a little I've hooked scent? it up with essential oils Ooh. mm-hmm now you could dump that in your bath water and soak in mm. it. You could massage your body take with that, it. You know, with soap. That's nice. Mm-hmm. Let Nina take a whiff of that. This you put and that guys in. can use this. You easily. wait. You dump it in the bath. You can soak in it, or you get your your washcloth all nice and sudsy, and then you sprinkle it on it, and you massage your body. Nice. Mm-hmm. Wow. And it just adds that extra element well, of, more about Richard. of now, cleanliness. Richard at the house and massaging your body with all these different oils. Generally, and when we and go out, when we go away, that's when we take everything, oh. the scrubs, and wow. then we just really. Y'all do the thing, mm-hmm. getting the hot tubs mm-hmm. and the whole thing. That's how Nkosi was made. That's how Nkosi <laughs> was made. Nice. But Nkosi was definitely made with love. You could tell that right there. <laughs> Uh, you know you want to pass that that powder on back over here. Now, what what is this one? These are body butters. This is tropical body summer exotica. Butters. Actually, one of my customers insisted I make this for him. See, see? Oh, okay. Well, we're gonna we're gonna stand this segment. We're not gonna take the break yet because we our next guest ain't here yet, and he gonna get a short segment when he get here. This is shea butter, cocoa butter, mango butter, orange vanilla, honey, castor oil, Do you have any extra virgin butter? coconut oil. No. <laughs> no. Okay. Baby, can you pass That's me the nice. yeah? Like yes, you didn't smell that. You ever smelled that, Mama? Oh, I'm check out the baking soda stuff, Andrew and I. We're and then take a little light and put it on your your right here. Rub a little right here. <coughs> a little goes a long way. <coughs> yeah, yeah. just a little. Mm-hmm. These are the body butters. Oh wow, mm-hmm. That's amazing. Ain't that something? Yeah, wow. I like that one. Oh, this is amazing. <laughs> Wow. Especially if you're not I, feeling so what, well. What, what, wait a minute. Let me get to the, back to the origin of this. Better than what happened? Why Thank Why you. did you start making soap? Because your family comes from a... <clears throat> Excuse me. Yes, my family. We're just conscious. We make everything from scratch. And okay. so this was really second nature. But um, to be honest, in 1997, I had a vision. I was surrounded by ladies. Some I knew, some I didn't. The colors were blue you said and white. Some were nude. Some, some I knew. Oh, some you knew. Okay. Some I knew and some I didn't. The colors were blue and white. There was a photo shoot. We were holding a product, and we were all smiling. And I knew that this was part of the health and beauty industry, and I somehow had to get there. Mm. I started with bath salts because that's what I knew. It was simplest, and I've just grown. And you teach yourself as you go along. I keep my ears open. And okay. because I've been reading labels all my life, I know how to make all kinds of stuff. You're so powerful. My Thank woman you. been in love with you forever. 
And I was like, I would be making fun of your soap because I, I I bought one and it scratched me. I I'll try to I wash it. I bought those and, it and scra- sent you off on your trip. Right, you sent it was me. This and I one, said, I you believe. sent me. I think so. And I, at first, I took it. I threw it across the room. I said, it scratched me. I said. This lady sent me a soap brick. Oh, it was the one with the ash. Um, the, um, I think maybe the, the avocado. The avocado and banana it ashes. The banana ashes. Mm-hmm. And it but was it had white. something in it, little flecks of something. That's what made it that way. Because and you it said was... you're supposed to rub it in your hand first, not just rub it on your body. Because I rubbed on my body. I went, oh, what the fuck? And I threw it. I just threw it across the room. <laughs> we have. And you said, baby, don't throw it. Just bring it back home. Yeah. Actually, since then, what I've started doing is grinding up my homemade charcoal. And See, so that so way it's a lot smoother. That's the yeah. one. That's what it looked like, baby. But see how much the smoother Yeah, that's it is. Yeah, now. yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's the one. And it smells, yeah, I think it, it smells good. You see oh, a lot smoother. I like licorice. I have that one, it too. I like good, the one that feels little like little clay. Clay. Carrot and anise. It feels like clay. Yes. That's the one. Yeah, like hard plate mm-hmm. up. Feel that. Feel the texture of that and then smell that. It smells good, though. All I need is these little stones. Nice. Little, little, uh, okay. All right. Julie joints. Okay. First of all, tell me how do people reach you to um, get some of this? Uh, my, I used to be. Some people may recognize me. I'm my imagine or imagine aromatherapy. That's how I was back in the day. Wow. I'm still that person, okay. but now I've been able to brand aroma stories. And I don't know aroma if you were able stories. to show her. Oh, I held it up. So they, they mm-hmm. flashed it up with me. I'll hold up again. So you right. can find yeah. me at aromastories.com. Aromastories.com. Mm-hmm. Look at that picture. I love um, that picture. Oh, thank you. I drew her with the mouse. I'm an artist first and foremost. Ah. Mm-hmm. Well, it's artistry how you put this over together. Thank too. you. This is, this Skincare is. artist. Did I miss thank one? You. Wait a minute. Now, what's the liquid looking salt thing? Oh, this is a scrub. This is vegetable glycerin, salt, and orange essential oil. So, well, how it's do you a liquid, put that on so your be body, careful. Though? You can shake it, or you can just oh. take a spoon and scoop it up, put it in the palm of your hand, and massage your body. But I can with shake it. the whole thing up like this, it'll be okay? Yeah. It won't blow up nothing. No. Okay. okay. glycerin. Uh, yeah. I you said glycerin. You know, last glycerin. I know. The nitroglycerin. So then you take it and you do what with it? Massage your body with it. Oh. Mm-hmm. That's a common but theme we keep coming feel, back to. It won't you gotta feel massage your body like with it. rough? When yes, you it's it? an exfoliant, but the okay. result is smooth skin. It takes off all the dead skin. So you gotta go back and wash after you do the, the rub? Because you don't have all the salt on you? Yeah, you don't. With dead skin and shit? You, it depends. Some people want to wash it off when they're finished. Some people don't. Some people use this, the soap as their shampoo, and the scrub as their conditioner. Mama, she is a queen. She is amazing. She is a queen. I love Jasmine. Yeah. I'm yeah. like, Thank teach you. me. You're I just amazing. want to come to your You're house amazing. and this hang out. Great. <laughs> Thank you. Then I did miss anything. What are these big the, ones? This is my imagine. My Even though I'm a Roma story now, hold that up, I can't leave my imagine because everyone knows my, me as my, my imagine. imagine. And I've seen you change wow. since I've met mm-hmm. you. When I mm-hmm. met you, oh, this is the um, I met you at Lamert Park yes. originally yes. at yes. one of the festivals a few years a few years ago. And I bought like one little something, mm-hmm. and it was just a little container. Oh, really and I had that container like and carried it around. Wow, yeah. Ever in a day, and I was yeah. like, I want to see that lady again. Yeah, people I don't keep know them why forever. It didn't me just a right call, <laughs> and then I met you. A little goes a long way, okay? And then I met you again with oh, Michael. Right Mm-hmm. So and then mm-hmm. I'd see you at the market, and I'm like every mm-hmm. week something new. I always want, okay. I always look forward to trying something new. Mm-hmm. But my mm-hmm. ultimate favorite is the oil. That oh yes, you yes. said you have to get the oil. Was that the geranium? The one that she yes. put on with me. You the one, the... and I was like, baby, use it sparingly oh, because baby. Jasmine has to make some more. I have to get oh, more, goodness. and he's pouring it all. I'm over not trying me. to be selfish or nothing, but um, that. and he loves I'm, that I'm oil. I'm hold on to we these two. That That's oil. wonderful, right here. Thank you. Can we now? So you say you're gonna leave these with us? Everything I brought, you guys can keep. Here. Oh yeah, okay. Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna let all the folks here on the fa- in the family here get get things they won't take with them. I'm gonna take at least two items to give away tonight at our show. Uh, if can you come by the show? I don't know. Maybe if you come by the show, I'd love to bring you on stage and tell people who you are. Where is your at show? The, at Maverick's Flat. Oh. Oh, you've Maverick's told flat. me. You guys have told and me. And we would tell them who you are and what you do and rub some of these things on people and let them know they can get them from you. And then I'd give away a couple in a big bag. We'd give away the big bag. The big bag is something. Uh, so I'm going to grab two items here. And then I'm going to let y'all go for what y'all want. These two are going to this folks. Here, this is a sample. So this has this has been used. That's been used. Okay, we don't want to give away yeah. anything. But this hasn't been used. Okay, but what do you want? 
Because if you want I need that, to get back in that, I need, yeah, you need to get back box. in that box. Go on back to that box. Yeah. Okay, we cover. The patchouli's in the box. Okay, you, you know what we're going to do? We're going to take pause. a break here <laughs> so we can make a pause for the calls. Uh, before you, we go, though, once again, tell folks where they can find you. Aroma. And numbers and the emails and Facebook, all of that. Aromastories.com. Mm-hmm. Uh, my business line is 323-533-2002. Okay. Aromastories at gmail.com. Oh, well, it's beautiful. Yeah. Uh, we'll be right black. Uh, we got to go sell something. And it's the Michael Kaya Morning Show. And we've been here with I Jasmine Gant. Before we say we've been up late, once again, Jasmine Gant with yeah. Aroma Thank you. Aroma Stories. Yeah. And she's fantastic. And she's giving a bunch of stuff away. And some of it we're giving away at the club. We'll be right black. Hey, are you tired of those same old energy drinks with bad taste? Make a switch to Pitbull Energy Drink with a guaranteed no aftertaste. Pitbull offers more energy with ginseng and vitamins B6 and B12. With a ginger ale, lemon lime flavor, Pitbull meets the consumer's demand for better tasting and healthier energy products with a guaranteed no aftertaste. Make a switch to Pitbull Energy Drink. Pitbull offers more energy with with ginseng and vitamins B6 and B12. With a ginger ale, lemon lime flavor, Pitbull meets the consumer's demand for better tasting and healthier energy products. For more information on Pitbull energy drinks, bars, and mixes, visit their website at hiphopbev.com. That's hiphopbev.com. Online orders available at hiphopbev.com.
And we're black. It's Michael Kai Morning Show. I, I get up late. Oh, we had to take an extended break on that one because she just shook the place up. Miss Jasmine, Jasmine Gant. Gant. Oh, my goodness. And, and what's it called? Yes, Aroma, Aroma Stories. 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 And I mean, we had just, and she left us with beautiful product, and we oh, yeah. will be bringing some uh, to the show tonight. That's at uh, Maverick Flats 40 to 25 South Crenshaw Boulevard. Nice uh, get there at 8 o'clock. Show starts right on time at 8 30. If you don't get a seat, that's on you. Uh, Reverend Williams coming through tonight too and uh, he's bringing with this young lady who makes the ties I wear sometimes they have all the stones in the tie the little crystals Shirovsky crystals and so I'll be giving one of those away today we will be giving away uh, some product from uh, Jasmine today and the big bag is amazing I saw the big bag you know Kelly puts the big bag together of giveaway stuff and it's off the chain tonight it's just gonna be the show's gonna be bananas I I win the bag I I wish we Mm. could get in because I saw the bag today I said I wanted that bag (laughs) Uh, our headliner tonight is the wonderful, the fabulous uh, Yvette, the funny lady. And she's going to be funny, and she's going to be on the show here this afternoon. So let me uh, let me get to my very uh, next and wonderful and spectacular guest. Um, Jacob Lusk is a big winner uh, from American Idol and from the world of music in general. And... To have him on this show, to me, is a great honor, a great pleasure, and I, I really feel like a blessing. Uh, this brother, um, after doing all them shows he won on American Idol, he's still is humble and down-to-earth and cool. And when he comes to my show at Maverick Flat, and he's come several times, he's performed once, he brings his minister with him. And his minister brings three, four people from the church. And one lady from his church, every time she laughs, she jump up and slap the air. She said, <laughs> jump up and slap the air. And I was like, bring them all the time, because that's how we want people to yes. respond. Ladies and gentlemen, please get your hands together for oh, the man. fabulous Jacob yes, Lux sir. right here yes, in the sir. house. Right here in the house. <laughs> hey, Jacob, brother. Oh, well, I'm blessed and highly favored, man. And you don't even need the headphones oh, okay. until you get ready to sing. You don't even need them. We oh. we just talk <laughs> comfortable. How far did you go on this American Idol? Game? I made it to the top five. To the top five. Yes. So how many weeks were you there? A lot of weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like forever. A lot of weeks? Yeah. The, the process, because it's a long process. So I think I started in October of twenty. And I wasn't done until July of 2011, and the tour wasn't done until October of 2011. Wait, wait, and you went on a tour too? Yes. Top 10 go, right? Wow. Yes. Actually, my season was a top 11, the only season that has been 11 because they saved someone. And, wow. Yeah. So, so you done made a little money from this as well? A little. A little. <laughs> I see. Good, now, good. Does, does the winners win per episode a little something? No. No, you no. don't start getting money till at the very end. Well, you get the show doesn't pay you. You get paid from the union, but you don't get really get paid for the show because it's a competition, so they can't pay you. You okay. start, you make your money after. Okay. Even after the tour is over, is when you really make your real money doing performances and shows. After you make probably uh, three, four times as much as you do on the tour and stuff. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And then, did you get a, any type of record deal? Or anything? I got a record deal. Got out of the record deal. Oh. Getting a new record deal. All right. Had management. Left management. It's okay. it's it's but it's it's the game. It, but that's what the game is. And exciting though. It is the game. I mean, and it really is. I, I sort of think it's how you choose to see it. You, know? you have the. I had a realization today. Okay. Um, I'm making some changes with my career and everything, and it. it you had now have the power. You have control, so you can no longer blame it on this person. Oh, my manager didn't do this, That's or this right. person didn't do this. It gives you the power. You, you have your destiny in your hands, and you have to make the decisions on what you're going to do. And it's and all if you. It don't go out, work out right it's because of choices or decisions you, you, made. you made. So it's yeah. kind of important to surround yourself with some folks who know what they're doing. Yeah. Who can help you with smart decisions? Yeah. Huh? Oh, hold on a second. Uh, we have someone on the phone. That's a comedian, right? I don't know. Um, okay, really quick. Don't go nowhere. All right, uh, let's pick that up. Hey, uh, it's Michael Kai in the morning show. Who am I talking to here? What's happening, man? It's Antonio Ruckus, comedian and friend. What's happening? Tommy? Hey, brother Antonio Ruckus. Boy, you are good. Antonio Ruckus was on the show last week. That's the brother who had the pimp cup oh, and was suited and booted sharp. on the three-piece and tore it up as a comedian, funny, man. Funny. Hey, brother, how you doing today? Oh, man, I'm blessed, man. I, I wanted to call in to uh, say hi to you and everybody on your show. 
Uh, I'm actually right. checking you guys out live right now. He said, hi to everybody. Hey, checking us hey, out live. Hey, 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 yeah, well, Thank brother. Thank you, Sister Kelly, for the opportunity. And Mr. Collier, you know I me. Mean? You're a legend in the game, man. I appreciate you giving me the opportunity to come to your room and bless the mic. And I just feel like we're going to go a long way from here. We are, brother. I can't wait to do more work with you, man. You showed up and you was a class act. I mean, you took it over. You hit that stage, Pimp, and you did your damn thing. We're so proud of you, man. I'm looking well, forward to seeing you. When can I come back? Soon. I, I mean, soon. Week? Baby, what about next week? Do you I have a next week like book next, yet? Next I don't have. Ne I well, you I go. Have you know what? Hold I'll, up. I'll check Wait, my yeah. Let this Negro call us. You <laughs> need to call us and get a date. You don't come in calling on the show, setting up your schedule. So, <laughs> so you know well, to call I, Kelly. Yeah. Do it tomorrow, and we're gonna get you back as soon as we can because yes. you ripped the house, brother. No question of it. Well, I sure appreciate that, man. Thank and you, Antonio. From you say a whole lot, and I'm working a whole lot harder just since I finished working in your room, and that's He's real tough. Great. Thank you, brother. Much respect to you, Antonio. Love we gotta talk about. Tomorrow, yes, we'll set it up. Definitely. Have Be peaceful day. and thanks for watching our show. Oh, you already know. All wait, wait till you hear Jacob yeah. Lust. He' about to sing. Oh, it's about to be crazy in here. <laughs> I'm about to check it out too. Check. All right, thank you, player. Bye. On the move, church. Phones are lighting up. Look at. This. Okay, so all right, we're not. We're gonna have to hold them because I gotta go. I gotta. I gotta talk to you. I can't. I can't talk to nobody else right now. So let me ask you this: How long you been singing? I've been singing as long as I can remember. Really? Uh, I used to Kirk. My mom had all these Kirk Franklin and Mississippi Mass choir tapes, and okay, so I would okay. put the tapes in, and I would march in with the choir, and then direct the choir, and then sing the solo, and then. Oh, yeah. you mean by yourself? By, all by myself. <laughs> all by myself. I cut up my kindergarten graduation robe so that way I'd have a choir robe. I had a problem. Oh man! Oh, yeah, no. that was my dream. I didn't really want to be famous. I just wanted to sing in but church. You, I was you good. You love church, don't you? You love God. I'm thankful. You're thankful. I'm You're thankful. Grateful. You're yeah. grateful. Yeah. Gratitude, I think it starts there. It, it really starts. If you want to keep stuff, you got to remember that it's a gift, man. You have a gift, brother. Thank you. You know, and, and that's why I try to tell artists, man, if you bastardize that gift, that's on you. You know, I'm, that's why I'm glad I don't do dope no more. I enjoyed it when I was doing it. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> but I'm just saying, I, I, I wouldn't do anything like that anymore because I don't want to hurt my craft. I, I think that this is a big blessing God has given me. And certain things in your life are keys. They are keys that open all kind of magical doors. My key is my craft of being able to talk shit and get people to pay me for it. I can do it in comedy. I can do it in motivational speaking. I can do it in poetry, cartoon, whatever it is, just speaking. Your One of your keys is your voice. You can sing, man. And it's going to open amazing doors for you, as I'm sure it's already doing. It has. It's, it's amazing. Every time, someone posted on Facebook some time ago, the, mo the amount of work that artists we put into it and how much we give and in that live moment no matter how big or how small the audience is mm -hmm. It all makes it worth it when you have that moment, and you know that when you left, you touched somebody, or somebody was blessed by what you did, and just mm -hmm. that that five minutes. And music is the one thing that is universal, no matter what you are, even if you don't speak English. That's I right. have some of my biggest supporters are in other countries, and they don't speak English, and it's amazing that wow. the music can wow. touch them miles and miles away. That is amazing, and wow. yeah, it's, I just. I think that you have such an anointment on you. I mean, even not just your your singing, but when you come into my room, into my comedy room on Monday night, and you come in with an energy and a light about you, you know, I like that minister. You're king. Yes, actually, he he may come here because he's not far. <laughs> oh, okay, all right. <laughs> He is just a great man. Yeah, him and his wife have loved on me ridiculously. Wow. Uh, now, has she been to the sh my comedy show? Yeah, she she's comes. There. She's That's there. She's every, there? Yeah, yeah, she, every time he comes, she's there. Comes, she's, oh, there. Okay. she's right there yes. at his... I didn't know that was the wife. She is the I first lady of the church, and she comes, and she is and right there. And they come, and we be cussing and shit. And the ministers <laughs> come. We, Reverend Williams is coming today with a bunch of folks from his church. Minister Tony Muhammad going to sneak up and surprise me sooner or later. He's supposed to come two weeks ago. And and it's about love and light in that room, you know. Yeah. And you add to that light, brother. And when you came in and sang that night and rocked the whole place, it was crazy. So what would you like to do ultimately? I know you're a singer. You want to make a living singing. But if you could just do one thing and the world would love you for it and they pay you whatever you want, what would that thing be? It really is doing music. Um I had one of the members of our church, she graduated from a program downtown for women who are abused and battered or whatnot mm -hmm. and go through substance abuse. And they asked me to sing, and I was just there. I wasn't there to sing. I just went, and I did it. And 
I sang a cappella. I just sang some hymns, and I didn't really do a whole lot of riffs and runs because it wasn't about that. But there is nothing that takes the place of that moment that in in your song or in that is healing. Like right, th- that, right. there's there's money can't buy that. Yeah. There there's nothing else that I would rather do. There's a so- Kirk Franklin song that says, "Don't take your joy away from me," mm-hmm. and this is my joy. This is my mm-hmm. essence, and. That's the one thing, no matter what happens. If if I don't have any money and I'm on the street, homeless myself, I have that. And I, and there has been times where I didn't have anything. But when you have that, there's a strength there. There's a comfort you there. And you can always that. I relate to go you. to that. I yeah. relate to that. With my comedy, I can make people laugh and heal them on that level. I relate to you. And also, I have this craft. I have this gift. If I had nothing, had to start all over tomorrow, I'd be fine because I know that people going to pay me if I talk <laughs> shit. You know that people will pay you for the amazing voice you have. Now our job is to figure out how to monetize it at its maximum. You yeah. know, and it's more than that, though. We want to heal people and touch people. It is. And, and even heal yourself in the process. It's, it's, the, it's the most, um, it's, you're, you're giving to people, but they're giving so much to you. They it's, are. They are. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. I, I can't go much longer. I, I'm going to have to have you sing a beautiful song for us. I know you okay. kept talking about you sing hymns. Does anybody ever sing hers? <laughs> okay. So, Jacob, are you ready? Um, we're going to have to run a little bit over because he's going to sing this song and then we're going to let him walk out. We're going to just throw him out. Okay. So, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Jacob Lust. Back when I was a child Before life removed all the innocence My father would lift me high And dance with my mother and me And then spin me around till I fell asleep Then up those stairs he would carry me And I knew for sure I was loved If I could get another chance Another walk Another dance with him I'd play a song that would never ever end How I'd love, love, love To dance with my father again Sometimes I'd listen outside her door And i hear how my mother cried for him I pray for her even more than me. I pray for her even more than me. I know I'm praying for much too much. But would you sing back the only man she loved? I know you don't do it usually, but to love. Mr. Jacob Lusk, y'all, put it down like that. You are beautiful. I just see that your minister walked in, too. <laughs> Reverend King is here. What's the name of his church? Divine Deliverance Ministries. Divine Deliverance Ministries. Where is it? We have service at Audubon Middle School on Stocker. Audubon Stocker Middle Control. School on Stocker. How yes. many services y'all do? We do one at 1010. Okay. On Sundays, we have Bible study on Wednesdays at 7. And yeah. So y'all only do one service on Sunday? Yes. Oh, I like that kind of church. They're not there all day. <laughs> you get in there, get it done. Get on out to the house, get them barbecue, and keep them moving. <laughs> Are you out by 1110? We'll see. Okay, let me say something crazy happened. happened. So two Sundays ago, when two Sundays ago we were good and church was over. Right, we get to communion. Something happened and it was like white fog just filled the place and people started falling out. It was just out of the clear blue sky. Wow. So it was two thirty. 
<laughs> that that Sunday, well, it was it was crazy. I was on my face. I was like, "Really, Jesus? Really? You gonna do this to me right now?" <laughs> we're, we're going home. I go to the studio. The chicken was waiting on me. The macaroni and cheese was there. Oh, how funny! That was beautiful. You know, we're gonna, we're gonna have Reverend King on the show, so we're gonna we're gonna figure out when to get him on. On the twenty fourth, on the twenty fourth, we'll have him on. So we're gonna have the minister on to talk to us. Um, tell me where we can find you. You can find me on Twitter. My Twitter is Jacob underscore Lusk. Okay. Uh, my website is JacobLuskOnline dot com. Okay. Uh, there's a free song there for you to download. Twitter is the best place to be. I'm on Facebook as well. It looks for my name. I'm Facebook. there. Facebook. Okay. I'm all over. You're so beautiful. You're amazing. And you've been here at the Michael Kaya Morning Show. I, I get, get up late. late. We appreciate you, my friend. Thank y'all for having me. Have an amazing day. I know you got a lot of stuff going. You took a break to come and do this for us. So thank you. We thank you. God bless you. Thank you. We're going to take a quick break. A pause for the calls. And we'll be right back. with my mother and me and then spin me around till I fell asleep then up the stairs he would carry me and I knew for sure I was loved if I could get another chance Okay, we're black. It's the Michael Kaye Morning Show. I get, I get up, up late. late. Man, Jacob Lusk was up in here, American Idol. Woo. Came up in here and sang. Was he something, baby? Oh, my goodness. He can sing, y'all. Yes. He threw down. What a hell of a day. We start out with soap. We end up with <laughs> songs. And now we roll in a crazy man. What the <laughs> hell is going on? Ladies and gentlemen, you know him from the Judge Judy show as the bailiff. I know him as superstar and now co-star in my new sitcom. Get your hands together for Petrie Bird. If we can just wake him. <laughs> yeah, he gets up late. <laughs> right? I like that. <laughs> what are we doing here this early? How are you today, brother? I'm good. Where'd you stay last night? That's none of your business, man. Okay, all right. <laughs> okay. We I, was, were driving I, I stayed in. with some friends. No, I, I stayed out at the hotel out, in, um, out on Violent. And, uh, we drove in today, and we were saying if we didn't think about it, you could have stayed at our house. Yes. Yeah, I was I was thinking about that before I left, and uh, since the invitation didn't come, oh, I just assumed that it wasn't. Out. 
I had no idea. Was like, I had no idea. I'm sorry. I don't mean to be so catty, man. It's, you know, it's too early for this man. You know, come and, on. And the thing, he has a lovely wife. I don't know why she, she would put up lovely. with his mess. She is sweet. She is listening, be. too. And she demands an apology from you. I told her what you said. Like, she just cut out, didn't hug nobody, didn't say nothing. Yeah, she just left. I looked up. He saw my wife in the plane halfway home. Now I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, baby, we nothing. still here. We still here, Tabor. Beautiful yeah, wife, still. too. Sweet. Y'all got six Thank years? Six, six years? Six years what? Of marriage. Just, man. Yeah, yeah. Just multiply that by four. Okay, we, we 25 years in, man. You are lying. 25. 20. Keeping it alive. We're going on 26 come this on, year. Come on, that's applause you know right there. More people can't stand each other for 25 Hercules, minutes. Hercules. That is Hercules. wonderful. So now, before you did the bailiff thing, first yes. of all, are you actually a bailiff or you just play one on television? I just, well, you know, this is art imitating life. I was a bailiff in New York and, uh, okay. and then I moved out to California, read about Judge Judy uh, uh, in 95, wrote her a letter to congratulate her, was kidding around at the end of the letter. And said, hey, you know, if you ever need a bailiff, I still look good in uniform. Oh, great. And uh, that little joke turned into so far 17 years on the air. Wow. 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 That's yeah. hot. That's hot. We need to get few... you joking around like that. I that's, swear, that's, baby. That's, 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 that's I don't know together, many people who are on a show for 17 years. Wow. And, and, and that's a long time to have a single we're job. We're going into gun smoke until, territory. That's we right. signed on for like another four. So uh, wow. we're still talking 21 you years. You get a raise time we finish. every time you sign again? You uh, know, nah, you know, again. well, it's slight raise, you know, but, you know, at, you with, her, with her at 45 million a year, they ain't a whole lot of chips she's a highest paid person on television. Yeah, she is. I thought she was getting 75 a year, but you said it's 45. Five? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, oh, yeah. Wow. they, they had to blow cut it back. up. You know, they they had blow to cut it back. up. Yeah, but what's thirty five million? I know, right? More than yeah, amongst thirty me. here. I know, there. I know the less part. I don't know the more part. Now, do you know her husband too? <laughs> yes. Yeah, yes. and he's he's, a, he's still a judge. Pimping, pimping. Uh, he's he's, oh, he's retired. He's retired, man. I would Jerry's too. somewhere between like seventy eight and ninety years. And she has old, a Jew. So. She's Jewish. So the name is like yes. Shanlin. 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 Get it right, okay? Shanlin. So <laughs> wait, did you come to California to be a? Bailiff? Did you come to be an actor? No, I, I, I actually came to California. Honey, don't get mad at me. I know you're listening. But I came to reconcile with my wife. You know, I, I had a real foolish period where, you know, I thought I could live without her. And obviously that wasn't with the case. With this wife? With this wife. And you came and reconciled? We came reconciled. And, uh, and, <coughs> For and you. God told me to go west, young man. I'm originally from Brooklyn. So. Wow. Well, New York City is a building. That's what I'm talking about. Brooklyn's in near his ass. But the, how'd you end up? Doing oh, I know you're doing that thing, but are you an actor, a comedian? Are you that, or are you, you know, just fooling you know, around with it? Th no, the thing about it is I, that's always been a part of me. So you know, anybody in my family, or any of my friends will tell you that what they see on Judge Judy is the acting part. You know, standing there stoically cool and all that. That's the that's the that's the acting part. He's a natural born fool. Always has been. Huh. All my friends know it. And so, you know, it's starting to emerge now. I'm starting to come into my own. Thank I don't you. think thank the public knows, though, the impressions. I don't think I they do either, man. <laughs> I've tried to let them know. I've tried to show these cats, but they won't listen, man. <laughs> you get, oh, wow. Wait, do your um, Archie Bunker. Jeez, it's nice to be here on your oh. show, dear. You know, I love to be with a colored guy with a hat. <laughs> yeah. Jeez, you can't oh, see where he keeps the pistol. Great. Wow. Can we get can That's we get great. a little Bernie Mac? Cause that blew His me away. Let me tell you something. I always felt that Bernie was moving through me, and mm. now he's back. He's in heaven right now trying to get his wings. Right now, he's just walking around like a bat. Okay? A <laughs> big black bat. <laughs> I love that. And wait, wait, what you did, your, I was really impressed with your Denzel yesterday. I, you, yeah, give, you, him, give him a look. Give you, him know look. Some, you know something? I'm glad that you were impressed with the Denzel because that's something that I just learned to do. Okay? All right? Okay? All right? <laughs> My Negro. <laughs> Wow. How, how, so how do, you, how do you do it? You keep repeating the sounds until you feel like you're getting to it? Or? Man, this, this it's funny. This has been something I've done since I was a kid. So I used to like all the old movies and stuff like right, that, right. And doing James Cagney and uh, Sidney Poitier and Bill Cosby and all that. And my father, it's funny, my father had friends who were uh, on the other side of the law, and they oh, okay. were in prison. And so they would call our house on Sunday morning just to hear me get on there and do impersonations, you know. So you know. Wow. Yeah. So you yeah. Going so, back that far with it. Yeah. Yeah. And and it's it's just been a part of my life. Who uh, else? Who else know. do you do? Um, 
Like I said, you know, someone, uh, Bill Cosby, you know. Oh, let's hear you. And so the, whenever I have to do the Bill Cosby, you see, because Cos has the lazy tongue and he keeps it moving, but the pudding pops, <laughs> then that's how he does it in, in my face. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I, I was. I'm, I'm just so impressed with you. Um, it's so funny. We're doing a sitcom, and it turns out that you're the best person for the role. And we didn't know that because we didn't start with that. We started with my friend Jay Lamont yeah, in the Jay. part. Yeah, I, I love Jay. It's I fantastic, adore Jay man. Lamont. I was one of his first managers. Now, mad I'm not his manager anymore <laughs> because he is about to make all that crazy money that he rightly deserves. Oh man! And I've been kicking it around with him over 20 years. And when I put this this show together, I had, I wrote it to have my two best friends, and one is the next door neighbor who always comes to eat, who's right, a right. huge, and the <laughs> other is my too. mailman who always drops in to have coffee. <laughs> so I'm thinking we'd have Jay Lamont because he's gonna come in and do all these impressions, mm -hmm. and then Jay Lamont's behind up and got a two month tour with Mary J. Blige. Excuse so now me, he ain't excuse available. me. Did he not realize how much money was on the table? Yeah, when he, when he, he made that decision to go with Mary J. Blige. <laughs> And how can you even be <laughs> mad at him when he goes off and gets that kind of a job, That's right. you know? That's right. And immediately I thought of you uh, because you, when you come on my show and you go up on stage and you introduce me and you go up and get into your Bernie Mac about, about this Negro and I bust your head <laughs> to the white meat show and that whole thing. And I was like, well, who would be? I think you said it. I, I think it was Cordell who brought it, it up. It might have been. Actually. Oh, look, Cordell pointed it out. <laughs> it was Cordell. It was I knew it was somebody on my team who can't, mm -hmm. who said it first, and I was like, it's a no-brainer. You would be perfect for the part if you were available. And I felt like, what a blessing. You mm -hmm. made yourself available. You came down here from, where well, you live, Sacramento, right? I live in Sacramento. And how could wow. you? Uh, they shoot the show up there? Uh, what? Our show? Yeah. No, 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 no. Hollywood. KTLA Studio. Wow. So why are you living in Sacramento? Um, because that's where I Probably landed when is. I first. Well, yeah, that's it. That's it. Okay. You know. Plus, uh, I've been on. I've been in the four hundred five traffic a couple of times. That's that's, crazy. That was enough for me. Yeah, it is <laughs> yeah. Great. And then, yeah. but you made time to come up from Sacramento and do this for us, and it was perfect yesterday. I that, had a, I had a great time. That shoot man. was perfect, man. Well, yeah. And the, the girl. The premise is great. Everything everything is is really wonderful about that man, and I, and I pray God's blessings on the, on the effort. I I, I meant that sincerely Thank when you. I texted you that that I. That Thank I want to see that succeed, uh, whether it's with me or without me, but I preferably you were just with me. Up to get mm. back <laughs> on the next episode, <laughs> That's right. I'll be on the next episode. <laughs> so no, it's much. a beautiful thing. It's a blessed project. Like I said, um, every every turn of it shows God's face. You yeah. know, even like when let something happen, like he fell out, Jay Lamar fell out, you fell in. Yeah. Well, you had one casting director fell out because he's being stalked. Not only is he being stalked, he played the tape for me, the, the voicemail, he sent it to me. And you could hear the guy stalking him, talking about, oh, I'm here. Oh, I ain't going nowhere. I will find you. We going to get this straight. I guarantee you. I mean, it was eerie. It sounded like a serial Man. killer or something. I mean, it was eerie. He felt like another person fell in. The people supposed to do the, the camera work for us wanted to own the property. You know, they wow. were going to help us by shooting it, but they wanted two-thirds of it, right? Right. They fell out. Yeah. Within the next day, we got people who shot the whole thing and brought in all the camera work. And, and and Cordell's With expectations folks, of nothing. With nothing except to help the project yes. go. Cordell's sister-in-law, um, Anitra, who was just, oh God, just a miracle, mm -hmm. came in as director, and she teaches filmmaking. So she brought her class, so we mm -hmm. end up with a whole crew. Every time one thing didn't work, another thing. We mm -hmm. couldn't get the Asian girl yesterday. We tried everything to get an Asian girl. Mm -hmm. Instead, we went with a little sister. And was that sister something? Oh, boy. With her little Afrocentric yeah. right on brother. Well, and the greater thing of that is <sighs> she showed up and they all knew each other That's already. Right, yeah. right. And Talk Leroy, about God yeah, and action. Yeah. When they were up in Sacramento Just and I met them about it in several times. Everything was in fine Music so in wonderful. place. So it's going to be a great show. Yeah. When y'all hear it, Lee and Leroy, y'all need to run and try to see how y'all can get it. That's me flipping this paper. And I think I might be able to help your friend with that stalker situation. It's, you know, he needs a different outgoing message, you know. He does. I just leave <laughs> a message. And I hope you feel lucky. Well, do you? <laughs> Punk. <Yeah. laughs> that's that's right. Stalker be like, oh, that's all right. Never mind. Have, have mm. you met anybody that you impersonate? 
Samuel L. Jackson. <laughs> oh, yeah, and you do a good Samuel. Did he hear your version? <laughs> yes, he did. What yes, did he, he have to did. say about it? Uh, he, he said I messed up the words. That was the only thing he said, but I was like, yeah, that's because he's jealous because he can't, <laughs> he can't do Samuel L. Jackson as well as I can. Let's, let's, let's hear your Samuel. And I will strike down upon me with great anger and furious vengeance those who would attempt to poison or destroy my brother. And you will know my name is the Lord when I lay my vengeance upon thee. <laughs> that is amazing. I learned that I learned that just to do that for Samuel. I, I, we have oh we, we have God. we have a we have a mutual friend, and uh, he has a show um, uh, that's mm -hmm. about movies and stuff. And so he had me do that and send it to him, and he showed it to Sam. Oh, that's Sam was funny. Like, great. Just, Did you do it in full in full garb? Did you have the wig? No, no, no. Oh, the I, wig no, would have been just that, the deal. I, that would have been right? awesome. Been yeah. Yeah. Wow. wow. Well, I'm saving that for Halloween. Thank just walk around and do that all night. Thankful, thankful again that you only did that show you came and did this show you know we only have short little 13 minute segments before we have to go back and sell some stuff no, so um, I'm going to have to cut you loose but I'm hoping you're going to be here and around in our lives forever man I, I, I think you're a great friend and a great artist and man our show get off the ground we're going to get all this paper man That's I'm going to be doing persons impressions too then That's all. just remember the big -E B Y R D. That's how you spell it for the chat. Petri okay. Bird. <laughs> Brother. It's Petri, man. It's, it's Petri. Petri don't, don't mess me up like that. You are that, lying. Man. You messing with me? It's Petri. Petri Bird, ladies and gentlemen. Do you know him as Bird from <laughs> Judge Judy? So you know how to find him. Can they find you on Facebook too? If people just want to inbox yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, they can find him. Under me the on name Petri? Petri. P E T R. Petri P B Max Bird. B Y R D. Petri, BB Max, PB Max, right. Bird. Right. P E T R I. You, you, you ain't going to find that many out there. So once you, once you hit it, you'll know. Thank you very much. We we about to get into our last segment with a real short break. We're going to sell something, but they better sell it quick because we'll be back in 30 seconds. It's Michael Kai on the Michael Kai Morning Show, and I get, I get up, up late. late. Holla. And we're back. Are we back? Yes, we're back. It's the Michael Kaye Morning Show. I, I get, get up, up late. late. And we're here with the fabulous Yvette the Funny Lady. And she's come in with her robe and her pajamas. I got up late. <laughs> can you, can you stand up? Can you see her standing up? Show her standing up. Stand up. I want them to see the robe. Yeah. Oh, oh my God! This is a one-piece outfit. Yeah, oh, with, with the, the monkeys! Yeah, yeah, and, the the too, you know and the whole thing. Oh, That's oh, what I'm talking about. <laughs> Shapes with ass. <laughs> Gone, event. <laughs> I'm serious. It's hot in here. I'm taking some, but I'm just it's we family down there. That's right, and you part of the family now. Come on in I here, Miss Yvette. Miss Yvette is performing at our show tonight too, at the Mavericks Flat. I said. Eight o'clock tonight. She's the headliner this evening, and mm -hmm. I, I gotta say she's earned it. You know, last time she was on my show here, she was all on me about how come I'm not making her headliner. Uh -oh. Right, right. And I was like, I haven't really seen you do headliner material. Uh -oh. I uh -oh. thought you were pretty good a feature, but I haven't seen it. And she said, Well, I can headline. I've headlined dog that and shit on the floor. And so I said, did. Well, 
Come on down and do a smoking set tonight. And she smoked it Did and she killed smoke it. it. And yeah. was, yeah. Were you there, Andrew? <laughs> I was there. She was there. Oh, I'm sorry. She killed, killed it. it. She blew the roof off Mavericks. Really, really, really. talking about so, shit on the floor. I'm here. I'm <laughs> sorry. So formal apologies. You no. are definitely <laughs> this here Atlanta material, y'all. Mm-hmm. I ain't lying about that. Mm-hmm. Oh, that was for that bad yeah, word. That I'm was, sorry. That was for you. That was easy. Okay, and um, so now you're working everywhere? I'm blessed. I am getting so much work. I I, I get a lot of private work because a lot of times, you know, people have a problem with all them props because, you know, I use all my little stuff. And okay. Sometimes it's like a little bit overwhelming for stages and they kind of like, but the Christian uh, sector has just fallen in love with me. Mm-hmm. I've been doing a lot of that, a lot of churches. I'm doing a cruise this uh, uh December mm-hmm. called Girl Talk where they have all these women, you know, discussing that stuff. So I'm basically going to give them some po- <laughs> pointers. Oh, some pointers. <laughs> some pointers. <laughs> so uh, that's what's coming up for me. I got a show uh, this weekend. I'm going to be out in uh, the Apples in the Valley. The Apples in the Valley. The Apple Valley called? and, uh, okay. you know, Apple Valley Apple and then Valley. Rialto. So I'm nice. trying to keep them close. Just keep spending it some gas, buying some gas, you know, spending gas money. You also do hair, right? Yeah, I got a salon, full service salon, do weaves, uh, perms, set As purses. Black people, we gotta do it all till we get coochie pies. to the top. Mm-hmm. Coochie yeah. pies? <laughs> it's just something off on the side. It's you not like. A, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> they just that's a sideline gig. I'm trying to make it happen. You know. You are, you know you've done many favors for me, non sexual, but many yet. over the years. <laughs> <I'm> yes, <just, laughs> yes. I'm just. And saying. one of them is you've gone out with me on a tour that um, Kelly's about to start producing because she's doing a really good job producing the comedy show on Monday. So I'm about Thank to promote you. her up. And she's going to be uh, producing Comics Go to Jail. I love it. Yay. Oh, they love you. I love it. They love you. And guess what? There's a guy who's going to be there tonight uh, to see you. Because he was there when we went to Terminal Island together. Terminal Island. In fact, he's the gentleman who gave us his house to shoot our show this Sunday. When we shot it, we used his kitchens up in Baldwin Hills. And him and his wife has been coming to the show pretty much following us, stalking us. I uh, love it. Because they're fans because of what we gave them. And wow. he saw us in a store one day and came up and said, Michael, you remember you brought <laughs> comics into the prison? And we just wow. love that we come to your show. So he's been coming regularly, him and his wife. I promise you, somebody show. met me in the 99 cent store might have been him but he was all over me and I was just trying to pretend like I wasn't me because I didn't know what he was talking <laughs> right, about he right. said no I'm serious you came to the prison and he was like you know what for them 20 minutes I forgot I was in jail I was That's like <laughs> you came back to rely reality though when they said real, yeah. when you left and I looked at him and door, said, uh, said yes yeah. I am here cause you got locked up <laughs> they um, won't let you out oh <laughs> Stuck, boo. Go on, lay down. Go on. It's nine o'clock. It's a great program we do called Comics Go to Jail. I try to take four comics in once a month to a jail or prison near Los Angeles, and we perform for an hour and a half free for the comics. So the comics don't feel that just because their bodies are locked down and that their minds have to be as well. And we so give them a little something. But we've had two or three people come to us in stores mm-hmm. who walked up to me and said, You don't remember me, but. I was in Terminal Island when you came, and mm-hmm. man, we and really appreciate diff- it. And what a difference you made in my life. It, yeah, yeah, I've it heard meant that. a lot to me. So I'm telling you, because we're going to go back out, and when we go back out, you're the first person we're inviting <laughs> to come and be part of It shows of a lot show. of good-looking men in there, too. I'll be, like, thinking, like, <laughs> when is you waste. getting out, baby? Boo. I swear. <laughs> Dang. So you are headlining our show today. Wow. I am honored to, to even... Um, be on the same stage with Michael. I was honored to go to mm-hmm. Kentucky, which is where I'm from. Open an act. And uh, he allowed me to kind of feature for him. And, and it was absolutely wonderful because right, it was my family. Feature. All my family was there. And my mom and my dad, my mom, she just loved Michael. She wanted to make him her son right away. I'm like, Mom, this is this is a celebrity. Well, did she, you take me for the food? Yeah, you we took went me to, to Big Mama's. To, uh, we went to Big Mama's and Big Aid. Mama's. See, down there, they don't, they don't care if you're a celebrity. They just, like, mm-hmm. make you regular. I'm like, Mom, this is this. <laughs> Yeah. Mike D. No, she's like, boy, come sit down. We went to Big Mama's and <laughs> right. got soul food, nice. took it back yeah. around the house and ate. Yeah. It was fabulous. It yeah, was great. Fab. I, you know, it may seem weird, but I don't even have the juice yet to to get my own features and opening acts. So I'd be bringing you more. But, you know, all that will change this year. You do have the juice. It just hasn't manifested you got the juice. yet. Mm, Speak it into existence. You have the juice. Damn, this 
job, baby. Let's go. We got to get that on your I vision board. Oh, you right this is always coming man. across me. I, I feel, feel I sexual feel, stuff oh. coming across me. Uh, don't do that. Because I'm right now, I'm, I'm sexually infected. I'm like, I want Well, I'm stuff. excited about your performance with us this evening. It's going to be off the chain. We also have a guy came in from Chicago, and hopefully he's going to make it. Do you know damn fool? I know damn fool. We were in the competition in uh, San Francisco, and I think damn fool. Damn, they knocked me out of my pool. Yeah, damn fool. Yeah, he's a damn fool. He is a damn he's funny, fool, man. and he's he funny is as hilarious. Y'all. Hopefully, he'll be on the show tonight too. But yeah. it don't matter because we're no, gonna I be got, him. got okay. a lot of great stuff to give away. We're gonna let you get something out the box too, because we had a lady come in and brought special soaps. Beautiful I love soaps. it. Although mine has been mixed back in with everybody else's, so I'm hoping I can distinguish which is mine. Yeah, some, um, some outside that I stole that was. <laughs> oh. Okay, well, I took them because I thought they was free. <laughs> Besides my show tonight, tell people where they can find you. Um, like I said, this weekend I'm going to be, uh, in December, I'm going to be on this uh, uh, cruise ship. I got all the paperwork in the car. <laughs> so I'll tell y'all next time because I'll be back before December. I got to come back. I love this show. I was on before and I'm just telling you, I just love it. Love uh, I'm going to be at the show tonight. So that's most important. Let's live for to now. Tonight, right now. <laughs> live for to now. So tonight we're going to be at the Mavericks flat getting it in. And how they reach you on getting the internet? Out. Hit me on the internet, uh, the funny lady 562 at gmail.com. I'm so sleepy. I don't know what to do. I had some potatoes before I came. <laughs> oh, I love you. I love you. Now, look, I, I, I got to wrap this show up. Okay. Let me do some thank yous and things. First of all, uh, thank you, Antonio Ruckus, uh, for calling in on the phone. I appreciate that. And, yeah. of course, thank you, Miss Leonard, who calls every week. You have always had something fabulous to share with us, or at least she has some sweet words for us. Um, I, Andrew, what, what are you doing? Where, where, can we, where can we see you? Uh, oh, you know, we start to tour in, in like three weeks. So we open up for weeks. Jill what Scott, tour uh, would you be talking? Jill Scott, Jill Scott ladies tour. and gentlemen. National Open tour. That. Yeah, man. You're going to be we gone. on the 27th. I'm going to miss you. We'll be gone all July, but I'm coming right back. Well, Kelly's happy about it, though, because she moves up into <laughs> the co-hosting spot while you gone. So, hey, man. Hey, man. She's well-equipped. Well what, else? what else? Thank what else? What else? How else can we find you? You know, that's the most. That's the soonest thing. After that, a couple yeah. shows coming on in August. Okay. But, you know, that's the soonest thing. But they can thing. reach Jill you Scott. where? Uh, Twitter, Andrew Tyree. Facebook, Andrew Tyree. You can call my phone. It don't matter. Miss Kelly, what you doing? <laughs> oh, I am currently producing the uh, Michael Collier Monday Night Comedy Extravaganza. Oh, and I, I do that. have Twitter. Uh -oh. Oh, I'm Green Eyed Nana 45. Ooh. Green Eyed Nana 45. Ooh. You so you fly. I love you. Back I, with 684. You're too far away from me. <laughs> Six eight four. That's also Twitter, and you can catch me on Wait, Facebook. What about your page but sweet for food? You got Facebook, a page for food. Sweet Facebook, and I also have a page that you are more than welcome just to love and like, and it's called Earth Girl Grubs, and mm. it's all about just really eating well, good food, and food. just just <laughs> good good food. Share, you know, you mm. can share your photos or share a recipe or something like that. Okay, so you know, there's no grease in that. You don't have no grease in it. No grease. No, no animals. I it look is at your no channel. fun. That's what I'm telling you. Okay, let me wrap this up by first of all, once again, uh, thank you. Remind you that there is a Michael Kaya app, and you can download that. You just go to your app store, whether it's an iPhone or uh, Android, and you put in the real Michael Kaya or the real MC when that pop up. Download that for free and come by my show, because if you come by the show, we also have a loyalty tab on that uh, Droid, and you can come to the, uh, I mean, on the app, and you can get your loyalty button pushed. You get five of those and get some free shit. Okay, the show is tonight, uh, 8 o'clock. Uh, also, uh, um, I want to say once again, sweet words, pre prayers, and blessings to Terry Lynn and her family. Uh, we're really, really sorry for your transition yes. so early. You're a beautiful sister, and we embrace that. Everybody, be sweet to somebody today. Somebody yeah, needs your love. Yeah. Give them a hug and keep God first. This has been the Michael Kaya Morning Show. I, I get, get up, up late. late. Holla. Ha! That was easy.